today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make some cards using Photoshop. This is done on an A4 sheet of paper, and the great thing about that is that you can then just simply print it out at home using your own printer on a bit of card, or you could get it sent to a print shop or get it done online. The great thing also is that you've designed it and you can get it printed as many times as you like and use them over and over again. In this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up an A6 card horizontal and I'm also going to just show you how to add the guidelines of the trim marks and the score lines. And then in another tutorial, I'll show you how to add the artwork. So in Photoshop, go up to File and New. You want International Paper, A4, and then 300 pixels per inch and choose CMYK color, which is best for printing. Then hit OK. Next, we're going to set up our card template. So over in your tools panel, go down to the rectangle tool, right click if you don't see this, and select rectangle tool, or U for short. Then draw a rectangle anywhere on your canvas. And we're going to change the width here to 148 millimeters mm, and height 105 mm, and hit enter when you're done. You want the stroke to be on the line at one point, you want your stroke colour to be black, and you also want your fill to be white. Once you're done, hit V or your move tool here. This particular card size is A6, but if you want to design a different card, we've created a template over here which you can download via the link below. And here's our A6 card, and these are the dimensions for it. We've also got 5x7 and A5, and these three will fit inside an A4 piece of paper. So you could then create your rectangles just like we did on our other canvas using the sizes in that guide. So we're going to move our guide to more central and double click on your layers panel and type back. And that's going to be the back of your card. Hit enter. Then we're going to drag it down to the square at the bottom and that's made a copy. And we're going to double click there and call it front. Hit enter when you're done. Then you're going to move this down and to help keep it central, hit your shift key at the same time as doing this. And you want to place it right over the top. Okay, so now you've got the front of your card and the back of your card. And the good thing about this is then you can design each part separately. And in the next video, I'll show you how to do that. But now we're going to set up guidelines so that we know where to trim. So go back to your rectangle tool and above your canvas, start to draw a rectangle and you want it to sort of fit right on top of your guidelines, which can be quite tricky to do. So don't worry if you miss it. Make sure your fill is actually no fill so that you can see through this. Now we want to get this guideline right over the top of our template. So to do this, go back to your move tool, hit V or hit that one there. Control T or Command T and zoom in and then you can move the guideline right over the top of it and hit enter when you're done. Zoom out and you can see you've got guidelines here. We're going to then do the same horizontally and try to get it right over the top. That's not bad. And once you're done again hit V or select remove tool. Next we're going to create our score line. To do that go across to your layers panel and select this one again and so create a new layer, hit that. Over on our tools panel, go down to this one, which is our pen tool, right click, select pen tool or P on your keyboard for short. Click outside your canvas, hold down the shift key and click again on the other side of your canvas. Then we're going to go up here and change the stroke line to this dotted one here. Hit V or select remove tool again. And then using your arrows keys on your keyboard, just move this down ever so slightly so it's right across the middle of your card template. Next, we're going to merge these shapes together. Hold down your shift key and select rectangle one. Right click and select rasterize layers. Then right click again and go down to merge layers. Then go across to your marquee tool and draw a rectangle across here and then hit delete on your keyboard then go up to select and deselect 
There we go, we've created now our template with our guidelines and also our score line. And this here is your A6 template. We're then going to add artwork to the front and optional, you could add artwork to the back. And the next video, I'm going to show you how to do this. <laughs>